I come from a left of center family. What I knew of politics as I headed off to college was pretty much what I learned from my grandfather, who was an old school FDR Democrat and a great man who I love dearly. So in my case, I got to college. I was active in politics pretty early on eventually ended up becoming elected uh, national president of the College Democrats of America. And put it to you this way, I'm an experiential learner, so I moved to Washington, D.C. I was immersed right into it all, and I didn't like what I saw. I saw a lot of things I didn't like, to include the inception of identity politics within, within the Democratic National Committee. That's not what binds us together. What binds us together is a fundamental belief in these American principles that enable success. And I never heard that or, or saw any of that in the Democratic Party graduated, got married, and joined the Marine Corps in 2004. And the Marine Corps sent me to Iraq in 2007, sent me to Afghanistan in 2008 and 2009. There I led some of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life, and I was led by some of the most incredible people I ever met in my life. Every step of this taught me that you have to deal with the world as it is if you want to provide meaningful solutions to people. In other words, it may be more conservative. We came back and moved back to Wisconsin in 2012 after school and after the Marine Corps. And I worked in companies all across the country and all across the globe in all sorts of different industries. And I saw there some of the leading decision makers in corporate America struggle with real problems. Sometimes they got them right and sometimes they got them wrong. But the bottom line is they had to deal with the outcomes and if they weren't successful at first, they had to adjust and get it right or else they were out of a job or their company was out of business. And for me, it was about learning that, seeing that, and then figuring out how to get it right. There's no shame in making a mistake. There's incredible shame in repeatedly making a mistake and claiming you were right. Career politicians make mistakes and claim they were right, and they keep doing it indefinitely. And they've not been held accountable in the way that they need to. And it's not made life better for the people that live in the state of Wisconsin. And that's not okay.